What's up, friends and families and and all my Fallout brethren? Uh, we're gonna be doing a little intro and startup for Fallout One, but I want to put a disclaimer on this. We're actually gonna be playing all of the Fallout's, not in one go, obviously. But we're gonna start off with Fallout One, and we're gonna work our way all the way to Fallout Seventy Six. Um, Fallout is near and dear to me. You should watch my recent episode on the first episode review for the Fallout TV show. I literally have a tattoo on my arm. It's, it's probably equally as good, if not better, than Morrowind to me. I, I can say the whole series kind of like a, um, a criticism on capitalism, corrupt politics, and anything that's fucked up in reality today. <laughs> it kind of pokes fun at. Um, and honestly, this game was way ahead of its time, but you can see from the bottom left, it was read in 97. It was made in 97. It was released in 97. Um... But I don't want to be doing all this damn talking and, you know, giving an exposition on everything. If you guys know what Fallout is, you guys are here for a reason. So I don't really need to explain the whole story. I will explain, though. I am using a modified version of Fallout 1. It's called uh, Fallout 1 um, 2 and 1. So it basically puts Fallout 1 on 2's engine, also adding a lot of the stuff from Fallout uh, 1 to the game. I mean, Fallout 2 to Fallout 1. But anyway... Um, Go to go ahead and get started with making a character. Uh, for all you people who never played this, never, ever, ever, ever uh, pick any of the pre-made characters. They all suck and they all have major weaknesses that was will, will, will uh, hurt you later on. Um, even this guy, even though he looks pretty good. So we're going to create our own character. And that's what we want to do. Make him my age. Name him Jakeen. So, I want to go for, I wasn't going to go for a melee um, build, but what we're going to do is, we're going to make us a shooty dude. So, we're going to get this up. We're going to get this up. Hmm. That's looking like a good uh a good ticket right there. And I gotta send somebody a text message. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that down and put actually we're just gonna we're gonna lower our shrimp. Yeah. So we got two points. And I'll put one towards intelligence. Actually, I'm going to back out and start over. I want a melee character because you use melee most of the game. I just would rather, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard, because <laughs> you can die just all of a sudden in this game if you don't have the right weapons. So what we're going to do, we're going to take one from strength, because what I realized with strength, once you get the power armor, your stats automatically shoot up to 10, automatically. So it really is really irrelevant to, um, to, to, uh, That is definitely a good skill to have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do small guns. It's crazy. Hmm. So we'll do small guns. It's probably going to be a shitty build. <laughs> Speech. Oh, not repair. Speech. Because you want people to like you in this game. You want people to like you a lot. And lock picking, so I'm. Just, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. This would be my build. This is an adequate build. 
but this will fuck everything up. Watch this. So pay attention to my skills. So gifted is you have the innate abilities the most, but this will shoot all of my um ah. But which I'm fine with because this is going to stack later on. As I start leveling up, um, I could just put points towards things. So that that is a. Uh... So me having a lot of points will, will definitely help me level up faster. But I'm just going to be a piece of shit from the start. <laughs> it probably is going to be a tough run. So. That is broken. Yeah, we'll roll with that. I think that's about it. Make a black dude. No, I'm gonna stay male. Make him 33. Make him 34. And we're going to name him Jakeen. So that's my boy. Let's see the options we got here. We're going to save him. Player Keen. Player Key. So unlike the, old, uh, the newer Fallouts, which I think this is should be... Well, then again, you don't get these type of points. Um, you don't get this type of... Uh, well, you kind of do. So this is gonna be our character. That's looking pretty good. He's gonna be a fucking crazy fucking built character. All right, let's go. Let's watch a little intro. Hi, you're here. Good. We've got a problem, a big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one. And the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. Marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Thanks for fucking nothing. You essentially just kicked me out. <laughs> so let's see what this dude got on it. Another bullets. Another knife. So when I get back into the vault, you do get a lot of, oh, let's set up our inventory. We got flares. We got a gun. Let's save too, because I don't want to get fucked over. That's my old character. He was a, he was a piece of shit. I was actually just testing to make sure the game uh, functioned with his new mod. So. Oh, what a dick. Oh, there we go.
Damn. There we go. So I want to kill all these rats because I get a shit ton of uh, XP from doing it. Three more over here. I'm not gonna have nothing on them. They're fucking rats. Damn, I should have killed them. My best friend calling me. Hold on, guys. What's up, bro? You there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, bro. Let me, uh, give me one second. And with that said, we're going to save right here. Because I kind of just want to do the, the start of the game. I'm going to fuse these parts together. So, I'm just going to save for now. I didn't expect my friend to call me. We got another stream going on. But, uh... More to come. Or where I left off at, rather. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys and ghouls? Uh, it's your boy Serious Thought. This video is kind of going to be broken up into like a, a few weird parts. Because uh, the last video I had to end abruptly because I had to handle some business. But here on out, we're going to have a cool, uh, a cool video. Uh, welcome back. We're going to be doing a whole playthrough of all the fallouts. All of them. So, I'm going to be fucking busy for the next few, year <laughs> few years. Uh, but we're playing Fallout 1 just um, now. We just started... Uh, Oh shit. So we just started, literally. We just started. So um, I'm going to mesh these two videos together. Hopefully episode episode one. Uh, it's going to be a little little bit uh, discombobulated. That's the best word I can use. But um, let's get this show on the road. Uh, hold on. I think it's good. It's got a text. Sorry, I'll read that later. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, I just watch the first half, first section of this uh, of this one video, and when I make part two, it'll be more cohesive and more put to uh, well put together. But anyway, you know we got my black boy here named Jakeen. He's thirty two, badass. Um, we're just killing some motherfucking uh, some rodents right now. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. I think I killed most of them. Not I didn't. But anyway, yeah, I've been watching the Fallout show on <laughs> episode three because I'm one of those people who takes the show kind of like slow. I don't want to just fuck, man. Miss it. I don't want to uh, just like over, over like overwatch the show. I guess you can say. I think that's it. So, um, we're going to start off, beat Fallout 1, then we're going to play Fallout 2, then Fallout Tactics, then, uh, we're skipping Brotherhood, I'm not playing that shit, man. 
um, shout out to TK for taking that L for us. <laughs> TK Mantis, a great YouTuber, a very great, great, great YouTuber with great Fallout lore. Um, but anyway, yeah, the show is pretty badass from what I've seen so far. Let's keep killing, man. Let's keep keep knocking these off. So, I made my guy essentially. Uh, let's pull up my character sheet. My guys, as you can see, like, I took some pretty good perks. It took small frame. Uh, can't carry as much. But, um, what I think I get, like, a, uh, what is it? But I'm more agile, so I'm, I'm pretty much a great shot. So, yeah, agility is metric or perception. Meaning, I can fucking shoot the fucking dick off a net from, from damn probably 100, 200 meters or something. Oh lordy. We're just gonna stick to the knife for now. There we go. I don't have to move, so I'm just gonna. Holy shit, I got a free. Okay, so. Turn it in. Oh, he got a critical on me. No, he missed. He missed. There we go. Cool. Yeah, so I haven't played Fallout 2 in years, man. Back when I had a, a, a piece of crap computer. Okay, so yeah. You can use some of your skills. As you can see, my skills are in the toilet right now. My first day... I think the highest one is my science. It's my, no, it's my lock picking, definitely. I think that I picked that as one of my um, pile of bones. And I'm also using the Fallout 2-in-1 um, mod, so right now the, the game engine, uh, the Fallout 2 engine... Uh, Get this free XP and whatnot. So we're gonna get attacked again. I usually don't have my web webcam on, uh, but I said fuck it. There we go. So from here on out, as I record, I plan on using my webcam. I probably should make it a little bigger. Uh, if you guys want me to, let me go ahead and do that for you guys. Probably gotta go through here. Gotta go to my hood layout. There we go. That looks a little better, doesn't it? I, unlike most games, the reason I kept it small because all when I'm playing like Resident Evil or any other game, I have a lot of um, like a lot of uh, like I guess UI up there. I would say. Let's go ahead and get this out the way. Yes, I will continue playing everyone tonight. So I'm actually at the last chapter. So I'm probably going to record some of that tonight as well. I'm talking like I'm streaming, but I'm just recording. <laughs> Ooh, one hit. Perfect. That's a critical. See, when I played Fallout 2, I was so scared because people were like, oh, it's a tough game. Uh, you're going to have a hard time uh, playing it, but not really. If you if you get the right build going from the jump and you know what you're doing, especially I think it helped that I played the newer Fallouts, you know. Well, I started on, um, what was the first Fallout I played? Brotherhood was actually, not Brotherhood, but, um, yeah, Brotherhood was the first one I played back when I got it from EB Games years ago. Game was a piece of shit. It was a bonus gate was uh, Dark Alliance was much better. Oh shit! I didn't see you right there, dude. So. 
But after playing Brotherhood, like I said, I had my piece of crap PC, and I went and played um, Fallout 1. And uh, I beat Fallout 1, then I decided to do 2. 2 was extremely hard. Like, I got to the Wendigos, the little uh, alien-looking creatures, and you realize they don't really fuck around. <laughs> so... I was like, I never finished it, so it's kind of going to be the... Ooh, let's go from here. Damn, I missed all of that. There we go. We're going to let them come to us. We're just going to cut them up, knock them down. So your pit boy is kinda like your map I guess on here. So it's not really a good map. <laughs> Honestly. Oh I forgot if I work twenty four hours in here, um I think they'll let me back into the vault. I'm not sure if they patched that with the Fallout one and two mod, but we'll see. I think I pretty much got rid of all the rats. Yeah, so we got one more over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Let's get them. Hope everybody's been doing good lately, man. The Fallout show is excellent. I guess I'll watch episode four tonight. They kind of just get caught up on everything. I know most people already finished it. Text my friend back. Cool, we killed all of them. We killed all the rats, so I think now I can rest for 24 hours. Let's try that, guys. And girls. And humans. Uh, should be... So I think I can go back in now. Let's go try. Oh, nice. Sweet. We can go back into the vault. And I think from this point on, this is a good secret to know. You can get free XP from uh, here on out, so... I'm going to take a screenshot to use as my game. I probably should take, actually, let me get rid of my camera real quick, because I don't want my fucking head, which I which I can't remove. Uh, let me turn it off real quick and just take a screenshot. I'm not the best YouTuber, so just bear with me, guys and girls. You glean more information from the time with the scientific. You could glean. So, my science is up 31. We'll see. The terminal level performance atmosphere and temperature controls and backup maintenance for medical lab. So, I know if you talk to um, some of the people here, you get certain things. The hell was that? Why don't you do something weird? 
I need some drugs. I need healing. I'm not authorized to give you any. So I have an urgent need for them. Without the drugs, the safety of the vaults is Jeffrey Well, so you put it that way, they'll let you have these. Hey, see, they are shrimp. So he gave me. So I gotta see what he gave me. I gotta check my inventory. So I can't hold as much uh, gear now, so I gotta be mindful. I don't think this is, uh, I'm going to be okay. I need help. I need some stem packs. So I won't be coming back here. So I'll just get what I need to get. Nice. So I'm fully healed. I got a bunch of stem packs. He said the wall, uh, so what the hell is he talking about? He said it's contained on the wall somewhere. I think this is it, probably. So, somewhere, there is, uh, we can get some damn stem packs from. I don't see it. Anyway, we'll come back. Time is of the essence. Oh, the floor too. Sweet. So we can just start talking around. I've actually never did this. One of my friends, uh, my Discord told me about this little trick. So this is my first time ever seeing this. So we'll just go talk around, see if we can get some, uh, it's late, come back some other time. Oh shit, it's late. I think if I come back and talk to these people, they'll uh, give me something as well. The aesthetics of Fallout, uh, the first two were, were amazing. And the graphics look really good. Um, not really good, but they look pretty damn good. Uh, I just, I just like the aesthetics of the game. They're they're so retro, retro-y. Okay, what's that? I guess it's something on the table. Oh, right, there we go. That's what I was looking for. We got probably got something in here. Is that water? I wonder if it's the water that we need since our water purifier is fucked up. I don't think I'm going to steal that. But we'll take this though, and this too. We're probably going to sell that. I don't remember how weight is distributed on this game, so I don't know, like, what's going to be too heavy or, or whatnot, but I can trade some of this stuff to get some, some money. More stem packs, take it all. Oh, we're pretty good. We got a lot of ammo, some stem packs, we got a lot pick kit. Uh, I think there's AP rounds, I think. Yeah, these are AP rounds. So armor piercing works for like uh, things with tough hides, like rats, scorpions, um, stuff like that. I'm probably talking too loud. Probably should like quiet down a bit. Talk to this lady. Put your weapons away right away. Okay. Good to see you again. Is there anything that I can do for you? What do you do? I'm in charge of the vault security and law enforcement. You might not know it, but the vault wouldn't run as well if it wasn't for me. Hmm, neat thing. Sounds important. 
It is whatever proper adherence to the laws, the vault will soon be a lawless place with no direction. Hey, when we play Fallout 3 and New Vegas, we're going to see a lot of that. Now that I've been outside, are there any laws that are possible? Let's see what she have for sale. Let me see, can I talk to her? <laughs> Let's go talk to the overseer. Might be going to convince him to give us some guns. Yeah, you would think if he's sending you out into the fucking dangerous ass wasteland, you would definitely want some armor. So I'm going to try something stupid. I'm going to try to break into the vault and uh, see can I, um, you know, try to give me some shit. Holy shit, I unlocked it. Hey, you're not permitted to go in there. Why not? Oh, shit. Damn. That bitch ain't shit in that motherfucker. Yeah, that was a dumb idea. We not just <laughs> it's not worth the trouble. So we're just gonna reload and um thought it was a skill check. Back later. Let's let's head out to the wasteland. Uh, came out here and grabbed a, uh, some good shit. Let me make sure we're not missing anything. Go talk to a few folks. Matter of fact, fuck it. We're just gonna go ahead on out. I'm thinking about like from here. Once I get the first video out and get it going, I might just stream it from there on out because. I turned out some really good stream quality. I've noticed with the uh, if you would like to watch my best friend play co-op games. Uh, so Vault 15. I think that's Sandy Springs right there. That's where we should be headed. Check my text again.
So we're trying to head over here. Gotta go to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Holy shit. <laughs> I come back and I'm attacked by rat scorpions. Yeah, we're not gonna fucking do this. We're getting the fuck out of here, for real. I think this is Sandy Springs. I believe it is. No, it's night time. That's some information. There's a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders, rat scorpions, we would want to know about the rat scorpions. These, those damn rascals have been after our vermin since we moved here. Not a week goes by. That doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pins. Last week they took my brother. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you talk to our leader, uh, Ed, Ed Radis? Hmm. Southeast of here, so it's down. Watch out for them. Is he barter? Who does he have? 400. What kind of. Oh, 223 FMJ, so that's for a rifle. We got some caps. I want to see, is he going to exit this faster? I don't want to go to those rad scorpions, Kate. Welcome to Shady. Shay Sands Traveler, my name is Katrina. My job is a Greek stranger to help them understand our village. From the, tell me about yourself. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. That was a, that was a schism and many people left taking with them. But then we were attacked. I was hurt and ended up here. What should I do if I get hurt? Well, I obviously go to a fucking doctor. Well, if you can't get to a doctor, you need to heal yourself. Stem packs are a common healing item. So, I kind of get... I've been making the, the biggest mistake of going south when I started the game. So, kind of understanding is um, now you probably should go to um, Sandy Springs first. Got equipment. You have to go... You have to do what we do. Scavenge it or trade it for it. And if you're attacked, your foes might provide equipment. If you live long enough to loot the corpse... We are a peaceful community, so we mostly part of trade. I hear you, sis. We are a small town in a large world. You just want to be left alone. Besides, some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert. Only the raiders give us trouble. Arderus is our leader. I know very little about somewhere. I escaped from a vault and I was attacked by four children. Very, but Dermot was watching over me and I was found. 
Oh, so I can't go up. I live here now. Have you spoken with Anya? He's the merchant guard who was hurt. He's a covering in a guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He is more while he traveling now. It was Vault 15. It is due east of here. We tried to make contact with some of our vaults, but we always fail. I think it was raised with tech. My fellow dwellers, be careful. All right, so we do have to go to Vault 15 um, to get the water chip. We got to do that in 150 days. So the game kind of tricks you. Hello. I hear rats go up and killed again last night. I think I might be in here. Take that. I think if they see you steal, they're gonna freak the fuck out. And this is the guard shack right here, because that's west, so east would be in here. Hey, well, Iron, I think that's our first companion we can get. Hopefully he doesn't charge me. Why thanks, bye. Look, Shady Sands needs more kind for the hub or junk town or whatever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. That's right, the hub sold us a manufacturer gauge phone. We had we had it with your dirty deals. You got our own, I like that. Y'all want no problems, man. That's fucking random. What's your name? What's your team? Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Okay. I'm uh, mine. Um, what did you do here? I was a guard for the merchant level. However, I was shot during the raid by a bandit. I've been standing here since. The people have helped me recover still. My knowledge of the outside world and my experience makes me useful here. Uh, Shady Sands is my, my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junktown, the hub, to do some trading since I'm the only person here ever here who has a really left town. Sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks. Tell what do you need to know? What do you help with? Tell about the raiders. So, we're going to take out these raiders and try to take out some of these uh, rad scorpions. There are three groups the cons, the vipers, and the jackals. Yeah. All on New Vegas, they pretty much hate each other, but they all raise Shady Sands. It's a small but self sufficient community. The only trouble here is that with the bands of Red Scorpions. Red Scorpions are very dangerous. They have a poisonous sting on the tail, and they're very quick. Artis has been trying to find a way to get rid of them, and if you feel brave, you can talk to Artis about it. Man, I ain't trying to end the conversation, man. I need more information. Oh, so, yeah. They are sell. They come from various groups. They steal our food. Occasionally shoot a few people. Self-organize the guards to help fight them off. Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Rascoven case to kill a few Rascoven, but they always wind up coming back. There's just too many to fight. The Rascoven, yeah, they are. Let's see if we keep going in circles talking to this guy. The hub is a big trade center for far south of the city. It is from several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, the cruising caravan, and the Fargo traders. The Fargo trade. Junk Town's a little south and the ways west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a few drinks. So it's seen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeep sheriff and mayor. Sounds like a fuck up. Any 
game trying to just click and get into some trouble. None of these motherfuckers have anything worth the value. We might have to take out these rat scorpions ourselves. Yeah, this really is a small ass city. I think. Some of the conversation is just so like off kilter. Oh. What else is around these parts? Just stuff. I see, can we trade with her? And none of these motherfuckers got any type of gold, and Buddy want, um. We gotta find this, uh, this Ardish, uh, this Ardish person, how do you pronounce it? That come back in the morning. So we're gonna rest real quick. And it's still dark. So right, we got a medic here. Gotta find this uh, this person we're supposed to be looking for. I ain't trying to talk to you, girl. Let's see if the city scratches over here. We probably can run into this person, uh, the town leader or whatever. Yeah. Holy shit. Badass kids. That's what we need. We have farms, irrigation, we have primary, everybody contribute their skills to. So in other words, nobody have any damn thing worth a fuck, so we gotta find this guy so we can get our quest going. I don't I don't know where he's at exactly. Could be down here. Uh, that's a lowly ass house. I think there may be him right here. Kind of off in a cut. Curtis, you can tell him about the village. What are you doing? I'm a farmer. I irrigate the desert many years ago. I see you seem to be doing pretty well. What can I do for you? Any 
is a group. With that said, we gotta find this artist guy and um, we can get our quest rolling. It's supposed to be daytime, but I don't know. Whoops, drop that. So we're going to put those AP rounds in there because we're going to need them for um, dealing with those rat scorpions. If they have such a out of shit, hard shell. Oh, now it's turning to morning. You can kind of see the morning. You can kind of see the light changing. I'll probably pass this guy, honestly. We're going to save because uh, I don't want to get killed. So we're gonna go ahead and head to the cave, but we have to make sure we should talk to the leader first, cause he probably knows what's up. that him right here. For the life of me, can't find this guy. Hmm. And these are the healers. Man, I got a little fucked up. think that may be our guy. Yes, this is him. I ain't trying to be a good guy, I need fucking money. Gotcha. Does he trade? What does he have? 
But I'm not doing melee, so I'm just gonna skip that. So who the hell is Vaz? I guess that would be the medic over here. I want to get 44 days left before I have to, uh, before I have, to, before the vault fails. So I gotta hurry up. This might be Raza. Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American for Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, that poison has grown more potent and not diluted as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of the tests. And then a lot, of, and how such a large creature can even be possible by natural evolution or even radiation induced mutations beyond me. So much greater. What are you doing here? Doc Morgan and Junk Town taught me some, man. Just because we live in Stonehurst does not mean we are less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. It seems to be a sense of light, nocturnal. If you can get a sample of the poison, especially the venom production sac located in the tail, I can create, create an antivenom. So, in other words, this guy doesn't know shit. <laughs> and it's just pretty much just basically, it's like, hey, bruh. You ain't by yourself. They said they can't kill them, so I don't know what the, they just keep coming back. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Let's get it. Let's go ask our boy to take us to the uh, take us to the location. I know Vault 15 is like close, close by. Said they're sensitive to light and wait, what? Hold on, let me see the conversation I just had with this guy. Oh shit, they don't like me carrying weapons. What do you want? Didn't you just tell me? I think we can travel there now. I think that we can uh, just go there. Oh yeah, it's right up here. What I've seen, there's shit. This is just a lot of few of them in here. Truth, see how good our shooting arm is. Ooh, you're gonna fucking miss. Shit. about dead. There we go.
don't want to get too close to that damn thing. I want to get close enough to yeah, I can shoot it. There we go. Now we're going to scuttle away. It's a waste of fucking ammo. Oh, fuck now. Should be able to hit it. Shit. I wasn't poisoned, thankfully. Damn. I think it's not gonna die. I think we need to reload too. So that's two down. We got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jeez, can't hit nothing. about to do that, you dickhead. Shit. No, I'm gonna get the fuck away. Damn it, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I just got poison, y'all. Actually doesn't do shit, so Yo, they 
look a little bigger. So we're gonna rest probably for a few hours. Oh shit, can't rest. Say they're afraid of light, so I'm thinking about just uh like tossing this. Oh my god. I'm gonna say it right here, I don't wanna get fucking killed. Cause they're all gonna swarm me. I already know that. I forgot how I passed this the last time. I think I fought these first. Whoops. Now we're gonna run back so I can get some distance. There we go. Get that 22%. He's gonna hit us for sure. Fucking asshole. Poison me twice. So, I think we just hit the level thing right there. Or, we just do this. We're going to get our small guns up. Get our lock picking up. Get our speech to at least 50. Try to max that out fast. Oh shit, we're at full capacity, see? So we can't hold as much with this character. We're still poisoned to shit though, so. So there's one, two, three, four. Definitely probably should save right here because I'm a scum saver, so can you blame me? This game is fucking crazy. Okay, let's try to. I'm gonna try to tackle them one at a time. Specifically, this guy right here. Yeah, we're running. 
Holy shit, don't tell me I don't have any more ammo. Uh oh. Good shit. Sorry, I had to text. We're gonna wrap this up soon. Holy fuck. I didn't think he was gonna fucking come see me that fast. Oh, we're gonna keep fucking running, guys. I try to not shoot anything that's like... Oh, that's a big one. I'm gonna get fucked up. Holy shit. I wish I could fucking score that critical, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, these things are fucking strong. Is it about dead? Let's see. Severely wounded, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up. I'm popping the motherfucking things like goddamn candy, man. Shh. 
shit. This is fucking ridiculous. But we gotta reload. There we go. We should be able to finish this one. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get a hit. There we go. Three hit for a headshot? That's bullshit. Four for a headshot. He missed. He's gonna die. Should have fucking um had my knife on me. Probably could have cut the damn thing. There we go. That's that. We're poisoned though. We definitely. Hit. I'm gonna use it all my damn. Uh, we're gonna get more. But I do need to use them sparingly. Cause after I record, I like recording because it gives me ooh. What was that? Okay, so yeah, armor pissing rounds is pretty much just gave gave it away. I need to be using armor pissing rounds against those boys. That goes some more too. I have I've been I've been passing all these up. I need to be more more keep an eye out. Let's go back see what these people say. They say they keep coming back or whatever, so. And he needed a red scorpion tail. I have to go back and kill those. I hope I get the XP for it. Come back in the morning. What the fuck, my guy? About 250 experience. It's gonna be a long playthrough. <laughs> Let's go see what this guy says. I think we got rid of him. I wonder if since I've helped them, uh, can I get some sort of kickback, uh, would do, like, be cheaper for me? I don't think you would. Nice. So, we got a companion now, guys. Um... Well, thanks for watching uh, episode one. Like I said, I'm going to debate if I'm going to stream this from here on out.
So we killed the rat scorpion. So uh, yeah, uh, that that pretty much wraps up um, episode one of Fallout One. And from here on out, it's going to be a lot of Fallout getting played. Uh, and I'm going to try to be consistent. I just have life going on. You know how that goes. Um, so thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I, like I said, I'm either going to stream it or record it. So just be on the lookout for that. Peace.